Hi, I'm Katie with Vivere Designs by Kate, and I've just recently started my YouTube channel, so thank you if you found me. I was just asked by um, a newer alcohol ink artist, what's the deal with snow cap and why doesn't it spread? So I do have a video out there on that. On that. I can't find it, so I thought I would just make one real quick for her so that she can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two colors, maybe three, plus some snow cap on one and show you how it spreads and blends those colors. On the second painting, I'm going to use no snow cap and show you what happens. Um, and I'll point out the consistency of the snow cap. You'll see here, snow cap does come in larger bottles. I buy it. Um, it does come in the smaller bottles as well. Ranger Inks makes it. Um, I use so much though that I buy it in the big bottles, two ounces. You can hear, there we go, hear that metal ball. You want to shake it until you hear that metal ball. So here we go. All right, so the other thing I am using is isopropyl alcohol. Um, some people say you need blending solution with snow cap, and I adamantly disagree with that. You do need it with Blanco Blanco, or it'll chunk up, but that's a conversation for another video. So here are my two paintings. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna put some pebble down. Some oregano. Oh, I actually wanna do the painting, but in the interest of getting this uploaded, I am going to put down my snow cap. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue down in between. Then I'm going to add some isopropyl. I got my air compressor turned on. You're gonna see what happens with that snow cap. Blend those colors. Through. You get a really nice gradation there. You can actually even see the dots left by the snow cap there. And that's because it's so heavy. It is a mixative. All right. So now the second one, I'm going to do the same color. So I'll do my line of pebble, my line of oregano. Oops, I splattered. I'm going to put my blue down a little bit above because that is what I did on the other one, as you noticed or not. I'm going to put some isopropyl in between the two. I'm going to do that. And there we go. So I actually don't mind that effect at all. Um, but you notice what immediately happened is there wasn't a heavier buffer between the pebble and the blue. So the pebble shot all the way up to the top of the painting. I just wanna completely dry that because I will turn these into paintings. So comparing the two of them, you can see kind of what, you can see what happened there right, in the different effects. The other thing that snow cap does is it adds some texture. This is actually still wet, it takes longer to dry too. You see that? Um, but if I tip it, you can see that texture that's in there. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish, all right, this one is just completely smooth. All right, so I hope that helps. I'll do more technique videos like this, comparing um, snow cap and Blanco Blanco and different ways that I use the snow cap coming up in the future. So if you found this helpful, 
give it a like, that would mean a lot. If you subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot too. Um, I am just getting started sharing. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that useful.